Excited for the Samsung Galaxy S25 series? Well, here's some big news that's going to make you even more eager for its release. Samsung has just made a huge decision regarding the processors in the Galaxy S25 lineup, and it's all about performance. A few days ago, it was confirmed that Samsung will announce the Galaxy S25 series on January 22. As the launch event approaches, a new report has emerged that Galaxy fans will be thrilled to hear. All models in the Galaxy S25 lineup, Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, and Galaxy S25 Ultra, will exclusively use Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. This decision might come as a surprise to some, considering earlier rumors suggested the Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus would feature Samsung's Exynos 2500 chip, while the Galaxy S25 Ultra was expected to use a Snapdragon chip. It appears that Samsung has shifted its plans due to issues with the yield rate of the Exynos 2500 chip, leading the company to opt for Snapdragon chips across the entire S25 lineup. The Snapdragon 8 Elite chip, announced just a few weeks ago, brings a host of improvements to the Galaxy S25 series. Not only does it offer enhanced CPU and GPU performance, but it also introduces custom technologies designed to elevate the overall gaming experience. For instance, the Galaxy S25 series could support game frame interpolation using Qualcomm's Adreno Frame Motion Engine, AFME, 2.0 technology. This allows games cap at 60 Hz refresh rates or 60 frames per second to run at a smooth 120 Hz high refresh rate or 120 frames per second. The phones may also leverage Qualcomm's Snapdragon Game Super Resolution feature, which upscales the game's resolution without straining the system. These enhancements are part of Samsung's Game Assist feature, which improves game resolution and frame rate while reducing heat. This move marks a significant shift for Samsung, which had initially planned to use the Exynos 2500 processor in a Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus, but has now opted for the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip in all three models. It reflects Samsung's emphasis on delivering the best possible performance and gaming features to its Galaxy S25 users. What's your take on this? Let me know in the comments section. Official details are here, and Samsung's next big thing is about to hit. Samsung is entering a critical phase as it prepares for the unveiling of the Galaxy S25 series. A new report suggests that the release date for the Galaxy S25 series has been set for February 7, 2025, following its official launch on January 22, 2025. According to Fan News, Samsung has confirmed that the Galaxy S25 series will be released on February 7, 2025. The devices will be revealed at the Galaxy Unpacked event on January 22 in the United States. The report also mentions that pre-orders for the Galaxy S25 series will run from January 24 to February 3, with early access for pre-order customers beginning on February 4. Samsung is expected to officially launch the Galaxy S25 lineup in South Korea on February 7. This marks a slight delay in availability compared to the Galaxy S24 series, which had an earlier release. Here's what we can expect. The Galaxy S25 series will be unveiled at the Galaxy Unpacked event in San Jose, USA, on January 22, 2025. Pre-orders will be open from January 24 to February 3. Customers who pre-order will get early access starting February 4. The full release of the Galaxy S25 series in Korea is scheduled for February 7, 2025. With the Galaxy S25 series, Samsung aims to strengthen its position in the premium smartphone market. The new devices will feature enhanced AI capabilities, refined designs, and upgraded specifications. Price hike in Korea. Due to ongoing political instability in Korea, the $1 exchange rate has risen above 1,451, which could lead to a price increase for the S25 series in Samsung's home country. Additionally, the cancellation of the Exynos 2500 chipset is expected to impact Samsung's profits, as all models will likely be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite, which is manufactured using TSMC's expensive 3 num process node. What's your take on this? Let me know in the comments section. We're now going to run through the full specs design and the expected pricing to help you guys decide if it is worth the wait for my regular viewers. You guys have seen this so just skip to the next video, but if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. 
So with the Galaxy S25, equipped with a 6.2 inch 120 hertz dynamic AML LED display boasting a resolution of 2340x1080, shielded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for durability. For selfies, there's a 12 megapixel punch hole front camera. Turning to the back, the phone features a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens. It will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or possibly the Exynos 2500. The device offers 8 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 128 gigs or 256 gigs, utilizing UFS 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S25 houses a 4000 mAh battery supporting 25 dB fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the phone is expected to be released in January 2025 with an estimated price range of $800. Now let's introduce the Galaxy S25 Plus, featuring an impressive 6.7 inch 120 Hz dynamic AMOLED display with an upgraded Quad HD Plus resolution of 3088x1440. It incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and reinforced with aluminum 2.0 for added durability. For selfies, a 12 megapixel punch hole camera takes the spotlight. On the back, you'll find a powerful camera setup with a 50 megapixel primary lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens. It's equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or the Exynos 2500. The phone offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs or 512 gigs, utilizing UFS 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S25 Plus features a robust 4,900 mAh battery supporting 45V fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the expected price for this device is around $1,150. Finally, let's explore the flagship of the lineup, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, showcasing a generous 6.9-inch 120Hz dynamic a and OLED display with a crisp resolution of 3088x1440. It incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by the durable Gorilla Glass Victus 2. For capturing stunning selfies, there's a 12 megapixel punch hole camera. On the back, the phone features an outstanding camera setup, including a 200 megapixel primary lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 50 megapixel 3X telephoto lens, and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens with an impressive 10X optical zoom. Contrary to earlier rumors, it is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 across all regions, distinguishing it from the S24 and S24 Plus, which stick with the Exynos. The S25 Ultra offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and 1 TB, leveraging UFS 4.1 technology. Housed within is a robust 5,000 mAh battery supporting Swift 45V fast charging. Connectivity features encompass 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, this premium device is anticipated to launch with an approximate price tag of $1,199. Take all this info with a pinch of salt. If you find any mistakes or missing information in the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra specifications, please tell us. We're working hard to make sure everything is accurate, but sometimes errors can happen. Your feedback helps us improve. What are your thoughts on this?